Hey everyone, welcome back to Judo Highlights. Here are my picks for the World Championships 2021. Under 90kg category, and we're starting off with Murao Sanchiro, up and comer, 20 years old, took gold in the Kazan Grand Slam. If you don't know who he is, you should by now because he's the next big thing. He's got technique for days, he doesn't rely on strength, he'll have a long career, uh, just really really high level technical judo look at this his opponents are just like what just happened incredible uchimata incredible osoto and they kind of follow the same entry so people are confused uh, what kind of direction he's coming from or what attack he's going for and look at this he just you know he's got the grips he knows which direction to break balance and i mean what more can you ask from a judoka really so Murao, he's my number one pick, but uh, there are some people in this video uh, who have a win over him, and so uh, that's always a worry, he needs to get back that win. Uh, I'm talking about Becca Givanashvili from Georgia, and Bobinov from Uzbekistan, but I really do think Murao, he's just leveled up so much in the last year or two. He's only 20 years old. so. You know, he's still got a lot of growth in him. But yeah, Murao, he's my number one pick. I don't think it's as guaranteed as Nagayama, but yeah, great pick. And next up is Bobanov. He's my number two pick if Murao doesn't take gold. But he's got great techniques, big thrower, really fast Seo Inage. Check this out, he can do a left-sided Koshiwaza, look at that. And he's really been building from tournament to tournament. He's Asian champion where he took out uh, Mukai from Japan. So it's always good to have a Japanese name on your resume, especially when going up against something like uh, Nao and Nagasawa who are also competing. So that'll give him some confidence, but uh, he's got skills everywhere, throw left and right. He, he, he's got good Nawaza and he's got Iliadis as a coach. So I would not be surprised to see Bobanov uh, taking gold and upsetting one of the Japanese, or even both of them. Yeah, so Bobano for me, maybe number one, but probably number two. Right, next I've got to talk about Shiraz Dashvili from Spain. World champion himself and double silver medalist. So he definitely has what it takes, but I just feel uh, in recent times he hasn't had you know, the consistency that he used to have around 2019, 2020. But you never know, he might just be building towards the Olympics and I wouldn't be surprised if he became double world champion. So next I want to talk about Becker. And Becker's a strange one, he, he has mixed results. Often losing once, but then finding a way to go through the repercharge. charge. Uh, he's, he's definitely a consistent fighter, but uh, he has losses to a, a lot of variety of people um, and he also has got he's got a lot of wins as well so uh, as you see here he's got a win over Shiraz Dishvili uh, he's got a win over Murao he's got a win over Bobanov uh, he's got wins over pretty much everyone so um, just whether he can you know join all those wins together and win a world championships well that's another question I mean, here he is taking out Nagasawa, who's also competing. And, of course, we love his big throws. So, he's he's definitely got a chance, and I wouldn't be surprised to see him on the podium. Here he is against Murao. And I think Murao was a little bit green here. He gets picked up for Ipon, so maybe we'll see that happen again. Right, guys, next up we've got Nagasawa. And Nagasawa... He's kind of old for a Japanese judoka. I mean, he's 27 old. I don't know, maybe... Uh, he's, he's a veteran, we'll say that. And he's got great Nawaza. A big Haraigoshi, a big Uchimata. He's had some great results recently, so he took out Bobanov at Tashkent. Got to the finals uh, at the Grand Slam Paris in 2020, which is a while ago now. Uh, and that was against Shiraz Dashvili, where he lost. But... I mean, he's consistent, kind of like Becker, consistent, finds a way to win, and if he loses once, he'll find his way through the repercharge. 
but yeah, Nagasawa, uh, he he could he could take it out, and he's getting in his later years, so this might be his last chance uh, before Morale takes over. And finally, guys, home advantage. So Toth, Toth is an interesting judoka. He's been competing for quite some time. He's really really short for the category, and he's not the biggest thrower. Um, but wins a lot by Newaza, as you see here. He's got a nice Kataguruma. I think he should do it more because, I mean, he's he's got the stature for a good Kataguruma and the strength. Look at this. Beautiful Ippon Kataguruma. So, um, we'll see how he does with home advantage. It's always a good thing to have. And he's a veteran, so might be able to see him on the podium, but I don't think we'll see him getting gold. Anyway guys, that's it from me, so like, subscribe, check out my other videos, I've done all up to this weight class and I'll be doing the rest of the weight classes in the next few days, so I'll see you then.